We are going to discuss computing the probabilities of discrete random variables. Let us first define a probability. A probability is the chance that an event will happen. So when we say probability, we are talking of the happening of an event that is not planned, meaning it happens accidentally. And to get the probability of an event, we have to divide the number of favorable outcomes by the number of possible outcomes. The probability of an event, denoted by POP, refers to a number from 0 to 1, including the values between them that can be expressed as fractions, decimals, or percent. If the probability of an event is equal to 0, then the event is impossible to happen. And if the probability of an event is equal to 1, then the event is sure to happen or it is 100% sure to happen. Okay, let's have an example. Let's say tossing two coins or tossing a coin twice. Let us determine the possible outcomes. We can have head head, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. And so we have four possible outcomes. And let us assign our favorable outcome, say two heads. If you will notice that among the four possible outcomes, only one head head comes out. Therefore, the number of favorable outcome is 1. Thus, we have the probability of an event equal to 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. Or POP is equal to 1 fourth or 25% which is also equal to 0 0.25. Say, our assigned favorable outcome is one head. Among the four possible outcomes, we have two possible outcomes containing one head. And these are head tail and tail head. Therefore, the number of favorable outcome is two. Thus, we have the probability of an event equal to two over four or two fourths which is equal also to one half and p of e is equal to one half or 50 percent or 0 0.5 and for example our assigned favorable outcome is no head meaning the outcome is both tails and as you can see we have only one tail tail outcome therefore the number of favorable outcome is 1 thus the probability of an event is equal to 1 over 4 or 1 fourth and p of e is equal to 1 fourth or 25 percent which is also equal to 0 0.25 how about if for example we are tossing three coins or tossing a coin thrice. The possible outcomes are head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, and tail, tail, tail. So we have eight possible outcomes. If our assigned favorable outcome is three heads, we have only one head 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 outcome therefore the number of favorable outcome is one thus the probability of an event is equal to one eight or 12.5 percent or 0 0.125 if our assigned favorable outcome is two heads we have three outcomes containing two heads and these are head, head, tail, head, tail, head, 
and tail head head. Therefore, the number of favorable outcome is 3. Thus, the probability of an event is equal to 3 eighths or 37.5% or 0 0.375. And if our favorable outcome is 1 head, we have also 3 outcomes containing 1 head. And these are head tail tail, tail head tail, and tail tail head. Therefore, the number of favorable outcome is also 3. Thus, the probability of an event is equal to 3 eighths or 37.5% or 0 0.375. Another example of an event where we can compute the probabilities of discrete random variable is rolling a pair of dice. As we all know, a single die has six faces, where the number of dots of its face vary from one to six. And if you are going to pair it with another die, its face of one die can be paired with the six different faces of another die. Thus, we have 36 possible outcomes. Starting from the first pair, which is 1-1, one, one, up to the last pair, which is 6-6. Six, six. If our favorable outcome is getting doubles on a pair of dice is rolled, how many favorable outcomes do we have? Okay, it is 6. We have 1-1, one, 2-2, one, 3-3, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and 6-6. Six, six. Therefore, if we're going to get the probabilities of getting doubles when a pair of dice is rolled, then we have the probability of 6 over 36 or 1 over 6. If our favorable outcome is getting a sum of 6, then how many favorable outcomes do we have? Okay, just 5. We have 5, 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, and 1, 5. Therefore, we have the probability of 5 over 36. If our favorable outcome is getting a sum of 11, how many favorable outcomes do we have? Okay, it is only 2. We have 6, 5, and 5, 6. Therefore, we have the probability of 2 over 36 or 1 over 18. And if our favorable outcome is getting a sum of 14, we have the number of favorable outcome which is 0. Why 0? Because we have no sum of 14 in our given pair of dice. Therefore, the probability is 0. Another example of an event where we can compute the probabilities of discrete random variables is drawing or picking card from a deck of cards, which is equal to 52 cards. If our favorable outcome is getting a black card, how many favorable outcomes do we have? We have 26 because we have 26 black cards out of 52 cards. Therefore, our probability is 26 over 52 or 1 half. If our favorable outcome is getting a red card, the number of favorable outcomes is also 26 because we have also 26 red cards out of 52 cards. Therefore, the probability is 26 over 52 or 1 half. If the favorable outcome is getting an ace card, how many favorable outcomes do we have? We have 4 because we have ace of clubs, 
ace of spades, ace of hearts, and ace of diamonds. Therefore, we have the probability of 4 over 52 or 1 over 13. If our favorable outcome is getting a face card, how many favorable outcomes do we have? We have 12 because we have 12 face cards out of 52 cards. Therefore, the probability is 12 over 52 or 3 over 13. And if our favorable outcome is getting a red card and at the same time a 5 card, how many favorable outcomes do we have? We have 2 because we have 5 of hearts and 5 of diamonds. Therefore, the probability is 2 over 52 or 1 over 26. If, for example, we have to pick a ball from the box containing 6 red balls, 10 blue balls, and 4 yellow balls, and our favorable outcome is getting a red ball, what will be the probability of getting a red ball? Okay, so we have the probability of 6 over 20 or 3 over 10 because we have 6 red balls out of 20 balls. And if the favorable outcome is getting a blue ball, what will be the probability of getting a blue ball? It is 10 over 20 or 1 half because we have 10 blue balls out of 20 balls. And if our favorable outcome is getting a yellow ball, then the probability is 4 over 20 or 1 fifth because we have 4 yellow balls out of 20 balls. We have here the probability distribution of the number of persons with their corresponding number of vaccine shots. But how do we get the probability of a certain value or values in a distribution table? Let's have an example. What is the probability that no vaccine shot has not yet been availed? Given the table, zero number of vaccine shots corresponds to 0 0.15. Therefore, the probability is 0 0.15 or 15%. Next, what is the probability that less than two vaccine shots has been availed? The values less than two are zero and one. So adding the probability of zero, which is 0 0.15, and the probability of 1, which is 0 0.25, we have the probability of 0 0.40 or 40%. Next, what is the probability that more than 2 vaccine shots has been availed? The volume more than 2 is 3. So just get the probability of 3, which is 0 0.20 or 20%. Next, what is the probability that at least two vaccine shots has been availed? At least two means from the value two to three. So just get the sum of the probability of two and three, which are 0 0.40 and 0 0.20 respectively. Therefore, the probability is 0 0.60 or 60%. And lastly, what is the probability that at most two vaccine shots has been availed? At most means from the value 2 to 0. So just add the probabilities of 2, 1, and 0, which are 0 0.40, 0 0.25, and 0 0.15. Therefore, the probability is 0 0.80 or 80 percent.